So I'm going to be talking about when I was first learning to play guitar, what would I do differently knowing what I know now? Would I follow the same path? Uh, I, w I think I would initially. So the first thing I ever learned on guitar was the humble D major chord. Uh, and from there I learned the rest of the caged open chords C, A, G, E and D. And then E minor, A minor, D minor, maybe B7. A friend taught me these open chords and I thought, well, where do we go from here? Well, I asked him, I said, where do we go from here? What's next? And basically he didn't know because that's all he knew. He, he taught me everything he knew, which was these few open chords. And he said, but I've got a book. I'll give you the book. It makes no sense to me. It might make sense to you. So he gave me the book. It was Bert Whedon's Playing a Day. And from that book, I taught myself how to play bar chords, basically. <laughs> Took me forever, but eventually I, I got it after persevering for months and months and months. I managed to play a, an E-shaped bar chord. But I think now, if I was learning guitar today, I wouldn't do the bar chords so quickly. I'd learn the open chords, but then the next thing I would do is concentrate on this hand, the right hand, the picking. Because I think, even today, I think far too many guitarists neglect this, this part of playing the guitar. I know I did. I was guilty of this for years and years and years. I didn't really start to analyse my picking until a, two or three years ago and I just played whatever I sort of I taught myself to play lead guitar by it listening to the solo over and over and over again and then trying to copy it so the first solo I ever learned was uh, All Right Now that was the first solo I ever taught myself but I did that for years and years. I'd just listen to the record and try and do the best job I could. But I never really paid any attention to what this hand was doing. I just did what came naturally. And so my picking was all over the place for a long, long time. I found alternate picking extremely difficult when I actually tried to learn how to do it. Before you learn those bar chords, do some work on your picking, your right hand picking. So without further ado, let's go to a close-up and I'll show you some simple sort of picking exercises and ideas that you can do to get your right hand up to speed. Before we do though, if I can just remind you, please subscribe to the channel, try and help me out there. And uh, if you do get anything out of these videos, just Leave me a comment, a like, a share. Ask me a question, I'll do my best to answer it. But let's go to a close-up of what this hand's doing, the right hand. Well, the first exercise we can do is to just go across the strings using a down pick for each one. But we want to try and figure out where is the best place to put this hand, the right hand. Some people like to anchor it in position with the pinky finger and then they'll, they'll leave that pinky finger anchored somewhere on the guitar. I don't like doing that personally, but many people do. Uh, some people just like to float the hand above the strings. Uh, and most people, I would say, actually rest this part of the hand just on the bridge. Which is what I do. So if I'm playing a note, I can very 
quickly mute it by just damping down just in front of the bridge. So that's the first exercise you can do is down strokes and learning to mute the strings. So that you're just getting that individual string playing rather than... Then obviously come back up from the from the thinnest string to the fattest string but still using down picks and again try and mute them so get comfortable doing that both directions then change directions with the picking and do up picks so for each one up 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 up, up, up. And then go with the alternate picking so now you're going to go down then up on the next string down up down up and do it backwards again starting with a down Do it again the opposite way so now we're going to start with an up now this is all very boring to do it's it's not a fantastically exciting exercise but it's very very important to get this hand feeling as comfortable as your left hand because most players when they start playing simple melodies they're tending to concentrate on what the left hand is doing rather than what this hand's doing so we're trying to redress that by working on this hand only. So all down picks, then all up picks. Then down and up. Then up and down. Now each one of these will feel different, each one feels slightly different but that's why it's a good exercise to go through them all. So practice that, remember all down strokes then come back all down strokes then all up strokes come back all up strokes then do up and down, up and down, up and down, same coming back, up, sorry, down, down and up, sorry, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, same coming back, up, down, up, down, up, down. So this is a good thing to practice if you're at that beginner going into intermediate stage practice using this right hand more uh, and just do these simple exercises once every time you pick up the guitar basically do this at the end of your session beginning of your session in the middle it doesn't really matter where you practice it uh, but do practice it because it will help you no end to improve when you do actually start playing your lead guitar parts if that's what you want to do I mean obviously if all you want to do is go to parties and strum a few chords and sing a few songs or sing waltzing Matilda around a campfire then none of this is is necessary at all for you or if you're more into the finger picking style then this is pretty irrelevant to you but if you want to be a guitarist playing in a band playing sort of rock and pop 
kind of standards, then all of this picking is going to be very useful to you. Don't neglect your right hand is basically the message of this video. Don't, don't neglect it. Or your left hand, if you're a left hand player. Uh, but anyway, that's it from me today. We'll have a look at some other muting techniques in the next video. I'll try and get that up for next week for you. No promises as ever. But that's all from me today. Look after yourselves and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.